anyone needed further proof that Kendrick is winning this thing, you should have stepped foot in a high school today. I, up until today, taught at a very Drake-centric high school. Rich Baby Daddy is the most frequently requested song to put on my class playlist. If I ask students what they're listening to in their headphones, Drake. The week after the leak was a nightmare. But today I walk in and I can feel that there has been a tectonic shift. The second I walked into the building, I could hear the buzz. I could kind of overhear the conversations. And I was like, oh my God, this is a Kendrick school now. I pulled my classes on what they thought and they were ready to throw down for Kendrick. I had like one Drake defender in each class, if that. And honestly, I feel bad for those kids because they were getting screamed at. I had a kid walk into class, phone over his head, blasting BBL Drizzy. And then he went up to his friends and got them to freestyle on it. Like, excuse me, this was a Drake high school. I have students who hate reading, who are doing the most meticulous, close reading of these lyrics that I have ever seen. They're finding subtle quadruple entendres and like explaining them eloquently to their peers. This is a cultural moment and a true educational experience for everyone. Kendrick said, look, I can do what you do and I can do it better by making a not like us. Drake tried to do the same thing that Kendrick does and it just completely backfired because it was trash. It was not good. Drake did have a few little good bars in there, but overall that song was not. He should have sent Kendrick a voice note or an email or he should have just went ahead and sent that cease and assist like he likes to do allegedly. And his drop was so boring on a Sunday night. Wasn't nobody worried about that. We've been partying the Kendrick songs all weekend, honey. You lost. When Kendrick dropped, they not like us. Bro is basically saying, A, I'm from Compton. Like, I'm from this. I don't even make these type of records. Mm -hmm. Never even made one of these before. B, I'm going to own my zone. Literally, I'm going to provide my backyard where I live, where my family's cousins, where I went to school, with a soundtrack for this beef right here. Defending my home turf. I'm gonna territory. put a flag down to defend my home turf. And on the same song, I'm gonna ridicule you about co-opting Atlanta into your shit. That was the most, you that was the most even, important part. So now you can't even go ask them for a sound. And by the way, bro, what is your sound? The only way that this ends is if he puts a white flag up. Unfortunately, I have it on good knowledge that he's cooked and he's done and he lost. Uh, the he I, being Drake. Drake. I think everyone realizes and that Drake lost. And Even after Drake he announced that on Monday is when everyone, all you had like Rolling Stone, Billboard, all picking the winner mm -hmm. in the, the term. And Trent, we got to give you credit. The 2024 <laughs> Rap Wars, uh, <laughs> the term that you coined, um, everyone says that Kendrick won. And yeah, we're, it's, we're it's moving on. What's up, man? What's that? <laughs>
to have the most impact on everyone so everybody can be entertained. Everybody can get it. First listen. But, bruh, to do this, to do this, but I thought I thought Kanye was bugging when he said we here for the elimination of Drake dog. But like this is the closest you're gonna get to eliminating some damn Drake, bro. You know what I'm saying? K Dot came out here and pulled a whole 50 cent, bro. He is jaw ruling Drake right now, dog. Kenny made that boy quit. Quit. <laughs> Kung Fu Kenny. Kendrick Lamar. Conscious rapper. Deep thought rapper. Artistic rapper. Made Drake quit. He quit. <laughs> this is big. I mean, duh. No diddy, bro. Of course, this is, a, this is an enormous moment for a hip-hop dog, but just me personally, I am in such awe of what took place, bro, because I had Kung Fu Kenny winning. I had him winning convincingly with the hip-hop heads that really care about the bars, dog. But I thought he would do enough to at least make it debatable, even in the Drake stands' eyes. I mean... The Drake stands are never gonna say Drake lost, but you know the uh, most the most object the most objective a Drake stand could be. I thought Kendrick could make it at least be a debatable in their eyes, dog. But come on, bro, this motherfucker just sure you can the hell out of Drake, bro. He castrated this motherfucker, bro. He has beat Drake down in every sense, every aspect, every lane, every level of this beef, bro, and that hasn't been close. Kendrick has been 10 steps ahead of Drake this whole time. Even when Drake thought he was ahead, Kendrick was still ahead, but I could not have predicted that shit to happen, bro. And I gotta be honest, bro, I was definitely upset, and I voiced it plenty of times where I was, I was upset about J. Cole bowing out because I wanted to see hip-hop in its truest form. Right, spitting, rap, lyricism, bro. But we didn't get that. You know what I'm saying? Because J, J. Cole bowed out, which seems to be uh, a good decision. <laughs> Hindsight being 2020. We'll get into that in another video, man. But being it being between Kendrick and Drake, I knew it was going to get messy, bro. So I was like, damn, now Kendrick got a damn. I thought Kendrick was going to be a victim of the messy shit because Drake's so goddamn messy. And it wouldn't be about bars because of Drake, dog. But no. Kendrick said, no, bring that ass here, boy. But not only will I dumb this shit down for the majority of y'all, we will just throw my whole MO away for right now, bro. You know what I mean? This ain't gonna be about lyrics at all. This ain't gonna be about lyricism, deep thought, introspective, any of that, bro. The MO Kendrick Lamar usually has, nah, <laughs> not today. I'm going to cut your fucking head off, bro. I'm going to defile your image, bro. I'm just gonna talk, sh I'm going to out Drake you. I'm going to out petty you. I'm going to be messier than you. I didn't know Kendrick Lamar even had this shit in his system, bro. It got so bad, I'm feeling bad for Drake. Like, dog. I mean, I don't feel bad for him now, but bro, I could, I, I, what? I'm on TikTok, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, I'm on YouTube seeing just the internet destroying Drake, bruh. Drizzy is not a pedo. Oh my God, we got proof? What about your relationship? We got proof? Look at these niggas, y'all. I hate the comments, bro. What about your relationship with Drake? He's honestly so fantastic and a great friend and a great uh, great role model. You know, we text, we just texted each other the other day. He's like, I miss you so much. Yo, how old was she here, bro? How old was she here, bro? 14? Holy shit, man. Well, why why is Drake 36 but he acts like he's 20? This is why. Drake is a fucking pedophile. Do you guys like Drake? I fucking love Drake, man. I loved Drake for so long. Like, I had these long aspiring dreams to be the sole writer, producer, director of Drake the Musical. They're gonna be running through the six with his woes. Big streamers, big streamers. He's gonna be in a wheelchair as Wheelchair Jimmy, and is he transit? Yeah! And as he transitions from acting to rapping, he's gonna start walking because it was God's plan, okay? Tony's is what I'm saying. No one's following me with that one. No one saw Drake's most recent album art with all the.
pregnant emojis and thought, that's ironic, considering he's used to going for women too young to impregnate. No one thought that? No one knows what, no one knows where I'm going with this? Do you guys not read deep Google? Get on deep Google. Drake is known for go renting out like five-star restaurants, completely out, and then taking that little girl, uh, Millie Bobby Brown, 11 from Stranger Things, out on solo dates. Yeah, dude, he's f***ing preying on Billie Eilish. Drake is a f***ing pedophile, right? Right, look at her mouth. She's making the mouth that f***ing Billie Eilish made in that hotel room. No, it's true. I just like to imagine that Millie Bobby Brown comes up to that restaurant and Drake is just like, hi, I'm Drake. And Millie's just like, hi, I'm Millie. And he's like, oh, I thought you were 11. And she's like, oh no, I play 11. He's like, yeah, close enough, get in here, yeah. Dear baby girl, I'm sorry that your father not active inside your world. He don't commit to much, but it's music, yeah, that's for Let me get this. Let me get this straight. Dumbass! You have a fully reload. Life does not. Oh my god. Oh my god. So just saying this doesn't really clear the nigga, bro. Like this, there's no like, bro. Like I could, I could say, um, what's a good analogy to this? If I was stealing from the gas station, I would have been arrested. Nigga, not if I got away with it. The fuck? Like, nigga, what? Like, come on, bro. Come on. I want to see you explain this one to me. Take it out, emo. Show me every evidences of, of, of Drake being, uh, you know what. I just, I gotta show y'all this shit, bro. First off, this nigga, like, like, went on a date with an 18-year-old. It's a little creepy, but it's cool. She 18, whatever. It's weird, but it's legal. All right, bro. She was born in 2000, bro. Why the fuck is this flicked up with her in 2016 laying up on her, bro? And then as soon as she turned 18, they took her out on a date, bro. Dude, this shit blew my fucking mind when I seen this shit, bro. On God, this shit blew my fucking mind. <laughs> no, no, see, this shit's actually fucking with, no, this shit, bro, I'm not even trying to fucking, like, He's this shit's genuinely fucking with me, dude, because you guys don't understand, bro, this shit is fucked, this is fucked up, Drake didn't even do any, like, Drake did not do shit, you and you're out this. here making up lies about a daughter, like, this shit, I just, I, oh my, like, you don't understand the hatred I have for Kendrick Lamar, bro. I don't care if I'm crying, bro. I don't care. Go ahead and make fun of me. Call me a bitch. I don't care. You're a bitch. This is fucked up. Drake does not deserve any of this. Drake, Drake is a good dude. Drake puts out music that literally helps so many people. He doesn't deserve any of this shit. Like, you brought his name to this shit for no reason. <laughs> He's crying. He got me crying. Matter of fact, I ain't even bleed them yet. Can I bleed them? Back. When I see you stand by sexy red, I believe you see two bad bitches. I believe you don't like women. It's real competition. You might pop ass with them. Let's speak on percentage. Show me your splits. I'll make sure I double back with you. You assigned to a nigga that signed to a nigga that said he was signed to that nigga. Try cease and assist on a like that record. Oh, what? You ain't like that record? Back to back. I like that record. I'm gonna get back to that for the record. Why would I call around trying to get turd on niggas? Y'all thinking my life is rap? Destroying this man, dog. The king of social media. Media. The king of trolling, the king of doing this to somebody else, bro. Right? Of course, I see it, dog. But me, what what got me the most, knowing that Drake just got destroyed, is how I am thinking how Adonis or any some any child for that matter to hear what Kendrick Lamar is saying about their daddy, bro. Could you imagine being? Adonis, could you imagine being Drake for that matter, knowing that that's, that, that this that K Dot is saying these things about you on record as big as this rap beef is, bro? Could you imagine, dog? Meet the Grams, bro. His kid gotta hear that, bro. Drake ain't say not a damn thing that would have me even batting an eye if I was 
his kid, bro. <laughs> if, if I was his fam, if I even if I was his, if I'm the fans for that matter, bro. But it's gonna feel that much worse if it's your kid, the fruit of your loins, having to hear your pops getting drug the way Kendrick was kicking his ass on these songs. He got sex offenders on OVO that he keep on a monthly allowance. And a child should never be compromised and he keeping his child around him. And we gotta raise our daughters knowing there's predators like him lurking. Fuck a rap battle, he should die so all of these women can live with a purpose. With the impact that these songs got, bro. Bro, this is the most viral Kendrick Lamar has ever gone in throughout his entire career, bro. We talking about DNA. We talking about Humble. We talking about To Pimp a Butterfly. We talking about Damn. We talking about Good Kid, Mad City. Multi-Grammy winning Kendrick Lamar, dog. Right now, in the middle of this rap beef, is the biggest he's ever been. The most viral he's ever been. The most streams, <laughs> the most exposure of fucking music has ever came from deep ass... No diddy. Virtuous ass, good ass, humble ass Kendrick Lamar. And he and he goes the most viral being the most toxic motherfucker ever, bro. <laughs> that's why that's what makes it so bad, dog, is cause Kendrick Lamar is not known for this. I was about to say Kendrick Lamar don't do this because he's never done this in the past, but clearly he does this because he's been doing this shit too fucking good, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the whole time for the past, I don't know, 15 years, Kendrick Lamar has had this fuck it in his system. He has had this nigga in his system, dog. Y'all know I don't even say that word, bro, but k -Dot, he got that in him, bro, but he been, he been, he been trying to do the right thing, been trying to go the right way, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to I'm trying to preach growth. I'm trying to preach innovation. I'm trying to I'm trying to make the world a better place. But y'all motherfuckers, that motherfucker um brought me back. And I got to show y'all that I can do this. I does this and I do it better than the best. K Dot has whooped this motherfucker's ass in every aspect of this rap beat, bro. And it hadn't been fucking close to the songs, to the disrespect, bro. The numbers, bro. That's people's main argument is the numbers. The numbers, which is a bullshit ass argument, but all this shit's artificial. All this shit's artificial, bro. But y'all want to take it down? Y'all want to take it out, bro? Because this shit right now ain't artificial, dog. The world is feeling this shit, bro. And it is so bad, bro. It is so fucking bad, dog, that Drake's last response, the one he gave up on, bro, the shit on, on YouTube, bro, the video has more dislikes than likes, bro. The shit got, the shit has over a million dislikes and like 600,000 likes at, at this point. I, I don't know what it's going to be tomorrow. And if we're talking about Kendrick Lamar's songs, bro, I'll pull it up right now. Pull it up right now. Oh, this is hard. This is hard. A brief intermission from, you know, shouting out KDOT. Hip hop has kicked Taylor Swift out the Apple's music top five. That is so fucking fire, bro. <laughs> Number one, not like us. Two, euphoria. Three, million dollar baby. Four, family matters. Five, like that. Six, meet the grams, bro. K Dot just, ah, yeah, yeah. He, he's whooping and continues to whoop Drake's ass while even fucking saying nothing, bro. The boogeyman for real. Not Like Us becomes the most streamed solo rap song ever in one day. Ever in one day, bro. This is already, bro, K-Dot's biggest song ever, dog. To put that in perspective. Not Like Us is Kendrick Lamar's biggest song ever. It is the most streamed solo rap song ever in one day. And what is the song about? <laughs> What is the song about, bro? The the implication of this, what this means, is so K dot, bro. Cause it's like a it's, a, it's the quintuple entendre Drake was asking for, bro. Cause not only am I whooping your ass in numbers, which is always what they try to crown Drake for in conversations with K dot. You know, Drake does more numbers, okay? And it's rap beef, dog. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna do the lyricism, bro. I'm gonna beat your ass doing what you do, and then I'll sell you, bro. That's what that means, bro. That's what that means, dog. I'm going to outdo you in this song in every metric possible by doing the things you do, by doing the things that I don't do, that by doing the things that I'm not known for, bro. Get more streams than you. Make a bigger record than you. 
not even give you the fucking lyrics. I'm going to do the shit you do. Make a banger. Make a fucking banger. <laughs> a banger, bro. Dog. The whole world is dancing to this shit. This boppy ass song. <laughs> the whole song is about how Drake is a fucking pedophile, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all try to flame me for not giving y'all bops, for not giving y'all club bangers, but not giving y'all commercial workers. Okay, I'm gonna do everything that y'all say I don't do and outdo Drake in the process, bro. And then call him a pedophile while doing it, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. Yeah, bro. That's tough deal, bro. That's tough deal, bro. I mean, I, I think at the end of the day, it's not it's not going to uh I, I mean I I don't foresee it impacting Drake to the extent of like a, a Ja Rules scenario, bro. But his image is forever tainted by this rap beef, dog, in the most worst of ways, bro. Because this wasn't supposed to happen this way, bro. <laughs> and now, <laughs> and now, bro. Like, this motherfucker's a boogeyman, dog. It's the hip hop prophet, bro. What did he say? What the fuck did he say? Fuck the big three. Nah, motherfucker, it's big me. <laughs> it even it put it, it makes me think of goddamn rich spirit, dog. Hold on, bro. I I gotta play that shit, dog. I can only play. I don't I don't think K dot took the copyrights from this. Stop playing with me for it turn you to a song. Stop playing with me for it turn you to a song. Hey, but what he said, bro? Stop playing with me before I turn you into a song, dog. And uh, he has turned Drake into a song in the most worst of ways, bro. Fuck Drake, bro. I'm gonna say fuck Drake too, for real, cause, um, well, I mean, I don't, uh, uh, cause y'all all know for sure now, cause everybody's put out at this point. K Dot has removed all the copyrights from from the rap beef record, so he's allowed us to get paid. But I got fucked. I got fucked by doing the reaction to uh, Drake and the Kendrick Lamar song during the same stream. So, you know, of course, I got demonetized. Because I I included Drake ho ass record in the same fucking video, bro. So that that canceled my whole shit out, man. But because of that, dog. Because of that, bro. I'm going I'm going goddamn kick that ass even even more, bro. And we got to, bro. This this song, dog. This song is so fucking hard. It's so fucking hard because of what it means, bro. K dot don't do this. It's a fucking banger. It's the most popping song he's ever fucking made he's beating the brakes off of drake in the process and he's calling drake a petty the entire fucking time which is stained his career forever let it go i see dead people I Monster on the beat, ho, Debo, any rap nigga, he a free throw, man down, call a Amber Lambs, tell him free bro, nail a nigga to the cross, he walk around like Tizo, what's up with these jabroni ass niggas trying to see Compton, the industry can hate me, fuck them all in they mama, how many options you really got, I mean it's too many options, I'm finna pass on this body, I'm John Stockton, beat your ass and hide the Bible if God watching. Sometimes you gotta pop out and show niggas Certified boogie man, I'm the one that up to score with him Walk him down whole time, I know he got some hoe in him Pull on him, extort shit, bully the flow on him Say Drake, I hear you like I'm young You better not ever go to cell block one To any bitch that talk to him and they in love Just make sure you hide your little sister from him They tell me Chubb's the only one that get your hand-me-downs And party at the party playing with his nose now And Baka got a weird case, why is he around? Certified lover boy, certified pedophiles Wop, wop, wop that fuck him up. Wah, 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 wah. I'ma do my stuff. Why you trolling like a bitch? Ain't you tired? Trying to strike a chord, and it's probably a minor. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. 
They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. Bruh. Yep. Drake glazing that bitch. That what fuck y'all get, bro. That what y'all get, dog. How y'all get, man? Um, but yeah, we gonna see how this thing uh continues on out, bro. Seem like K Dot's about to drop a uh uh album next month, so maybe be some old diss tracks on that, man. But hey, man, let the rest of them things off, man. You know what I'm saying? Bury that motherfucker some more in the dirt, man. Fuck it. Let's get it, dog. You know what I'm saying? Take full advantage of this moment, bro. Because, you know, real shit. K Dot eliminated Drake, bro. He did it. Did it. In the worst way.